Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part we got here, uh, we finished up at the Rock Tunnel and then we found some trainers outside of, a, uh, you know, Lavender Town, north of Lavender Town. And then we listened to Lavender Town's awesome music, we went to the Mart, bought some stuff, and now we, we went east or west of Lavender Town onto this route. Which is, uh, I forget the name of this route. I can't even look at my time map because my time map's in the PC. So I put the name, on, uh, route name on, route on screen, I should say. Yeah, there we go. I have, who do I have? I think they have Lavender Front still. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah. So we got this. Now there's gonna be four trainers here that are just waiting to battle you, you know? So let's take them on. Okay, school is fun, but so are Pokemon. That's true. That is definitely true. I agree with that. It's Battle Man. Here is a super nerd, ha <laughs> ha She has one, uh, 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 it doesn't say what gender actually, so they have, uh, coughing, I guess you could say. Coughing versus love, okay, so both level 26, awesome. I'm gonna try Thrash. Hopefully Thrash can hit three times, that'd be nice. One hit point because, uh, it's not very effective, a poison type move on a poison type Pokemon. Not very effective, man, sorry. Touching about awesome now. Three hit three times awesome. Now it's the end of the battle, nice. How is easy? I'll stay with school. Okay, thanks for the 650 poker dollars. Let's take you on. Um I like Nidoran, so I clicked them. Cool. I have a Nido King. It was once a Nidoran fem it was uh, once a Nidoran male, I must have never female there. In fact I did say it there just now. Ha ha ha. So this is a Nidoran female, okay, level twenty three. Cool. Let's go for the horny attack. Let's see how much it does. It does about half, okay. So that's good. Tail up to our Dominator's defense, but hopefully we can take out this Nidoran female, that'd be nice. There we go. Nidorina, okay, cool. Let's go for, uh, let's try Thrash. I love the move Thrash in Gen 1, it's awesome. Poison Sting, ooh. It's only 1 HP though, sorry. Except Thrush is thrashing about nice. So yeah, we defeated the last. Awesome. Why, why? Sorry. Thanks for the 345 Poké Dollars. I needed to win so I didn't black out or white out, man. Come on. That's why I had to win. We must look silly standing like here like this. Yeah, you kind of do, honestly. So I think she has a lot of Meowths or something, if I was... My memory serves me right. She does have a lot of Pokémon. Cause she has a pitch, she might also have a Meowth or something, you know, we never know. This pitch is level 19, let's go for the horny attack. Cool, it hits, awesome. Oh, it almost when it kills it, nice. Okay, sand attack hits, okay, so let's use another horny attack. It's gonna use quick attack on us. It's 5 HP, okay, horny attack still hits, awesome. Maybe, uh, Lavender can grow, grow to level 27? There we go, called it, nice. Right, okay, we'll switch to, um, Switch to Grumpy, I guess. Let's go for the low kick. Okay, nice. I'll stay in, I guess. Let's use Body Slam on this thing. Hop Paralysis, awesome. Floor Paralysis, okay, let's go for the Karate Chop then. Could go awesome. Yeah, look cool. It's a normal type Pokemon, so we have the advantage because we have a bull kick. Haha, <laughs> fighting time is super effective in this normal type Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> there we go, one hit K awesome, I'll take it. Another Nervan I think it's a Nervan male actually, yeah. Cool. Let's use body slam on this thing. One hit K awesome. Nice. Look what you did. I'm sorry. Thanks for the 285 pocket dollars. Okay, so I, I'm going to switch to my Pokemon actually. Switch that with that, yeah. Because Gamera and Lavender and uh, Brute were all level 27. And then uh, Tabasco, Storm, and Grumpy are level 26. So I have my Pokemon are level 26. I have my Pokemon level 27. Let's take on you now. Alright, let's roll the dice. I guess you must be a gambler. You must be a gambler guy. Okay. Cool. Gambler wants to fight. Nice. Polywag, okay. Good thing I have Thunderbolt. 
Thunderbolt attack. Nice. There we go, one AKO, awesome. Gonna be in the level 27, awesome. I've always level 28, so it's trying to... Trying to be there, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna teach you focus energy though, because it's not my final move set for it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna skip out on it. Probably like again. Okay, let's get a storm. Go for the Thunderbolt. Nice. Level 27 for Storm, awesome. Probably will. Okay, we'll switch to Tabasco, but then switch out to probably like uh, Brute Root or something. Oh, we could go back to, um, no, let's go back to Storm actually. Nice. That way Tabasco still gets some experience for being out in battle. I've noticed it's a good thing that missed. It's just Thunderbolt on this thing. This probably was level 22. That's awesome. There we go. My KO. Nice. I'm getting to the point of the game where I can easily get one hit KOs. So, because the Pokemon aren't too hard and they're not too weak either. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Drat. I uh, came to the I think, uh, yeah, thanks for the 1,540 Pokedogs. I think Tabasco went up to level 20, 27 as well. Yeah, interesting. We'll keep Grumpy up front, I guess. Let's have another battle with this guy, or have a battle with this guy. I mean, another battle, like another additional battle. So I kind, I kind of um, skipped through your dialogue, but I think you said something about checking Pokemon or something. It's a super nerd, okay? For Pokemon, awesome. Voltorb, okay. It's level twenty. Nice. Let's go for the body slam. Okay, go for Screech, but it failed, okay. Let's go for the Cry Chop. Alright, good critical hit, nice. Let's go for the Coughing, okay, yeah. We're gonna use Body Slam on this thing then, haha. -ha. Body Slam, nice. Coughing levels 20, awesome. Did, did a little bit of half and it paralyzed it, nice. Small, go no. No, not the poison. Anything but the poison. There we go, nice. The Coughing goes down. A Voltorb, okay, another Voltorb to stay in. Grumpy's just having a good old time here. Aw, oh, so close to fainting it, but to paralyze it, so that's awesome. Four paralyzed, nice. Let's go for the cry trap then. Quick what awesome. Magnemite, okay, we'll stay in. I think uh Grumpy's just gonna sweep this with this whole team, you know? Yeah, they're really awesome. Buy some had a critical hit and a 1k. Nice. We do feel the super nerd. Yay. Ow, meltdown. Sorry, man. Thanks for 500 Poké Dollars. Is there, a, is there a trainer up here? I don't think there is, but maybe. Oh, there's just a couple ledges, I guess. There's no bike around here. And they're not till cycling road, I don't think. Those types of trainers. So what you want to do next is, I think in this traditional building right here, you get stopped by the guide saying it's thirsty and that the road's closed. So what you have to do is go into here. Cause this is another underground path. I mean, I talked to that person right there, I just avoided her. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And this should lead us to the route, uh, east of, uh, Celadon City, so that's pretty cool. Here we go. Nice. So, here we are. And there's a little wall training area if you want to train there or something, catch a Pokemon there. But I'm just gonna go straight to Celadon City. I'm gonna heal up real quick and do I have to uh, put anything in my PC? Um, I don't think so. Nope, okay, cool, I'm just gonna heal up then. My Pokemon. Okay, so what I wanna do here is I wanna actually show off a couple things. I think there's an item here somewhere. Let's go on a bicycle to go a little bit faster, you know? And I like the bicycle music, honestly, it's awesome. Is there an item here? Guess not. Maybe we're not looking hard enough for something. Back to this back entrance, you can actually get an Eevee, which is pretty cool. There we go, nice. I think maybe you need a slot in your party to get it, but maybe it also, you know, uh, be a, just transfer to PC. Uh, yeah. Give it to Eevee, um, let's see, I wanna, if I were to, I'm probably gonna have, 
of all of this, just for my Pokedex if I need to, um, into Vaporeon. So, uh, we'll name this Eevee. Hmm, let's get. Um. Let's name it Jet for, uh, I don't know. Let's just name it Jet. Jet with two T's, awesome. So, name for Pokemon. Jet was sent to the Pokemon's box and see. <laughs> the first box in the PC, awesome. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. Well, I'm playing this off an emulator, but I do have uh, my own copy. I have it. I have my own copy off the um, Nintendo 3DS eShop, but uh, I'm playing this on an emulator, so, so I can't really trade. Well, I guess there's a setting for trading, but it's complicated, and I don't know how to do it and how to set it up, so that kind of stinks. But that's okay. I can go without it. Is there an item over here? Guess not. Oh well. Again, maybe I'm not. Just, I'm just not looking hard enough or something. See, so, yeah, I'm hopping on my best go to go a little bit faster. Now, uh, in red, blue, and yellow, you don't need to get the a hot tea from a uh, the uh an elder person in this building right here. You have to actually buy either a soda pop, a lemonade, or fresh water and give that to the guard, and then he'll search you through because he's thirsty. That that quenches his thirst, I guess you could say. Oh, over here is um, a place where you can use cut right here, which actually we'll need to do soon because uh, that would an HM fly. And then here's another Snorlax guy. A super Pokemon box away. Okay, cool. We'll get to both those things later though. Maybe in this part if I have time, I don't know. So I, I want to actually uh, go to the top of the mart and uh, buy a um, fresh water, I guess, two fresh waters. Um, and because one fresh water, you give this to the girl on the roof. She'll give you the TM, the TM for Ice Beam. I want to teach it the Gamera. It's because it's in Gamera's final move set. So here's the vending machines right here. Here's the menu. Fresh water, awesome. And she'll give you three different TMs. Uh, but I'm only interested in the TM for Ice Beam, so I'm only getting a fresh water. So yeah, vending machine. Here's the menu. Like, I'm gonna buy two of these fresh waters. I like how that's the vending sound. That's pretty cool. Uh, my sister is a trainer, believe it or not. But she is so immature, she drives me nuts. Oh man, I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay, yeah, I'm thirsty, I want something to drink. Give her a drink? Yes, we'll give her fresh water. Yay! Fresh water! Thank you! You can have this for me. Yeah, TM13, which is ice beam. It contains ice beam. It can freeze the target sometimes. Which is good, actually, for us if we're using it. But if it's used against us, it's bad. Okay, so here's TM13. Can... can... Gamer can win this as a sword turtle. Yeah, I thought so. Good. Gamer's trying to win a beam. Um, yeah, but Gamer can't win more than four moves. Like, Lavender can win. Wow. Cool. Because Lavender, you know, Nato King and Neo Queen are great mixed attackers in the, uh, in the Kanto games, like for Fire Leaf Green and Red Bull and Yellow, honestly. They make good mixed attackers sometimes. So, yeah. Or in general, I should say. So, it's we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of. Let's give it a tackle, I guess. Yeah. Gamer forgot tackle and gamer land ice beam. Yay. Cool. So there's that. We can get out of here now. Because so I think the the TM for hype beam I want to teach to um, Grumpy, but uh, I think that's in the Celadon Casino. Because I when, I when I looked it up on where to find it, it was in the I think it was in the Celadon Casino game corner, I should say. But uh, we don't have a coin case yet, so we're gonna have to get a coin case. So let's do that right now. I like the music for Saladon today, it's pretty cool. And you'll need Cut to get into the gym, even you'll need to use Cut inside the gym too. Hey look, it's a Team Rocket guy. What are you staring at? Uh, you? <laughs> so if you go to this guy in the corner, he'll say, uh, go ahead, laugh. I fought, I fought up, busted. No more thoughts for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be in this anymore. Thanks for the coin case, man. Cool, so now we have a coin case so we can actually gamble. Yes, nice. I like it. So let's go to the game corner, which is actually right here. It's very close nearby. It's in the same city. It's awesome. It's convenient. So just to double check, how much, how many coins is Hyper Beam? Which I have to look up the TM number real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, Hyper Beam is number TM, TM15. So yeah, we exchange coins for prizes. Uh, wait, you want 5,500 coins for that? 5,500 coins. Wow. 5,500, wow. What else do you have to, what do you have to do? Scyther, Porygon, uh, Scyther, Pinchler, Porygon, cool. Porygon's 9,999 coins, that's like your max, I think. 
Okay, and then Abra of four picks and Wiggly Tough. You can get a Wiggly Tough, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you don't have to use the Moonstone or Jigglypuff if you're lazy or something, you know? But you should have at least three Moonstones by now. Two you found in, um, in, uh, two you found in Mount Moon, and then one you found in, uh, just, uh, south of, uh, just near, um, near the west of this route before the Viridian Forest, where you have to use Kite and where you get the HM for Flash and stuff in that transitional building. So yeah, let's see if any of these poor guys will give us, maybe give me coins for a second. We'll get to that rocket event later, hopefully. Maybe in the next part or something, I don't know. Keep this quiet. I remember that this place is run by Team Rocket, of course. I knew that even before, because I played a similar game. We got 10 coins, yay. The machines have different odds. Okay, yeah, that's kind of true, I guess. Well, I can't remember if they have different odds for sure. Oh, this is the Vice Giver. Hey, you do, you have to do things, but... Do you have things to do, champion making? Celadon's gym leader is Erica. She is this grass type Pokemon. She might appear do docile, I think, do docile? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right. But uh, don't be fooled. Yeah, that's interesting. He's kind of kicked out of the gym because that gym's only allowed girls. Like in the anime for Ash, he had to dress up as a girl and be known as Ashley or something. With the help of Team Rocket apparently because they wanted to help. You know, it was part of their scheme, I guess. Yeah, games are games are scary. It's easy to get hooked. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I am having a wonderful time. Cool. Is there anyone else who will give me coins? I think there's like one person more. Yeah, okay, I got 20 coins. There. Nice, I have, 30, I have a total of 30 now. I think you may give me coins too, right? You're throwing on a few some coins. Shoo. So I think we got 50 coins from that. Let me check in the coin case just to make sure. You can go to the coin case and check how many coins you have. 50, okay, cool. Nice. So, I'm gonna, ch oh my gosh, I forgot how many, how many coins was, uh, the, I think it was like 5,000, 5,500? 5, was it 5,550 or something? I forget. 5,500, 5,000, 5,500, 5, okay. I might have to buy the coins because I don't really want to spend the time with the slots really, to be honest. Okay, 5,500. But uh, you can't buy the t HM for Hyper Beam at the uh, sold on department store apparently in red, blue, and yellow. But in Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can. Do you want some coins? Okay, um, 1,000 for 550 or. F sure. This might take a while. I'm also gonna check to make sure I have enough money, so I might like, uh, do a save state or something, so I'll be right back until I get possibly the number of coins I want, but depends on how much money I'll lose too, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it right now, because I don't have enough money, because I'm buying the coins really, basically. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I basically, well, I didn't get, I didn't have enough for, um, Hyper Beam, obviously. Uh, well, because I, I did the, I did a save state and everything, and, uh, I ended up with having like 334, 331 left, and I only had like 1,550 coins, and it was, I still need like another 5,000, uh, maybe like less, 50 less than 5,000, so like 4,950, and uh, yeah, that, so like, I did, I loaded my safe state, and I have all my money back, which is good, and uh, I still have only, um, I still have only, um, 100 coins left, I bought 50 coins though, so just to show this off, I'm gonna go play at the slots for a little bit, I guess, so yeah, a slot machine, want to play? Sure, we're all happy now, yay. Um, bet three coin times three coins, I guess. Let's see if I can match anything. Nope, not this time. Uh, three again. Uh, three makes it so you can have like diagonals, uh, and both the horizontal and, uh, vertical rows, I guess you could say. And diagonals, like I said before. So I always bet like three. Hey, I want, I want a, I wind up three, uh, our box, uh, di diagonally. So I got 15 coins. Nice. So yeah. One more go, sure. Let's buy. Let's buy another three coins. So it's like a big profit kind of thing. But uh, I'm not. I'm not really good at slots at all in Pokemon games. For like, for, the, uh, for like, Fire the Green, Red, Blue, and Yellow, because I'm bad at them. And I think they had them in the whole region too for third generation for like Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. I could be wrong though. I think they did still have a game corner for like slots. But after that, I think uh, oh, and Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, they still had slots with like the Clefairies and stuff and Veilstone City. Um, so yeah, it's a big profit game. That's why I buy the coins, really. If I did, if there's a nugget glitch in a red, blue, and yellow, I would've, I would've bought the coins just to buy Hyper Beam and stuff, but that's okay. 
So, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um... I'll, I'll play one more time. If I win, I... If I win this game, I will continue... I will play another round. But if I I'll lose, I keep... I'll go till I lose, basically, as I'm saying here. So let's see if I win. Nope, not this time. Okay, we're gonna leave. One more go. No. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so... We're making our way out of here, I guess, for now. Um, I'm gonna look up the TM for a seismic toss, because I know we got it back in, um, it was, uh, that route west of, uh, Spill's house that you need to do the cut to get to, or push that, make sure that guy sees you and walks, and say there's a little gap where you can squeeze in between them and get the TM. So I'm gonna look up that TM number real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it's TM19, so I'm gonna get that real quick in the PC. I'm gonna actually withdraw, I'm gonna actually, uh, Deposit my coin case though on my PC because I don't need it anymore because I don't want really to plan on playing the slots really. Unless I have to, like to get Pokemon from Pokedex, but I doubt that really. Because I can go without the item finder, I can go without the experience share, you know, stuff like that. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so I got the TM19 for a uh, Tazim Toss. I'm going to teach that to um, Mankey here, my uh, Grumpy, I guess you could say. Yeah, teach it to Pokemon. Oh, everyone can learn about Brute Root. <laughs> okay, so let's teach it to Grumpy though. Seismic toss, yeah, run to more than four moves. Do any more room to give me for seismic toss? Sure. Let's get rid of karate chop, I guess, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Grumpy forgot karate chop and grumpy land seismic toss, cool. So, uh, so yeah, grumpy has its final move set, I believe, because seismic toss, thunderbolt, body slam, and little kick. It was gonna be hyper beam instead of seismic toss, but then I was not willing to. You know, go bankrupt trying to buy coins to get Hyper Beam, the TM for Hyper Beam, TM15 apparently. So that's okay though. And Grumpy is gonna evolve level 28, so that's pretty exciting. So, uh, I'll put Tabasco up front because we, in the next part, we will take on, uh, the Celadon Gym. And actually, I need to get Paris out again, so who's gonna stay back? I think Gamma's gonna stay back because it's the water type and the odd one out for this gym, I guess. Just temporarily for the gym. So yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we might also get the TM for Fly, actually, too. Because, well, neither. I'll do that first, and then take on the gym. Might help with that. That sounds like a plan. So yeah, so this has been my Pokemon Neil walk the apart. Next part, I'll do just that. So this one's trying to go again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I'm just you guys. Next part, my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.